I am the Watcher, and you're watching another Thwipside ranking video. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm AJ, and welcome back to the Thwipside. And as my good buddy, the Watcher, said here, tonight we're going to do a Thwipside ranking video. As promised, it's going to be my ranking of the Spawn's Universe figures from McFarlane Toys from the latest Wave 4. If you want to check out the individual reviews, I have a review for each figure already posted. That being said, let's hop right into it. Starting off at number 5, I have Nightmare Spawn. Now, in my review, my main gripes about this guy was that he didn't really look like the artwork on the box which isn't a deal breaker I just thought the artwork on the box if he did follow that uh, design for him he would have looked cooler but the main the main problem I had with him was the paint on the wings like right here let's see if I can get it back like it it looked like they were scratches I don't know if you can see it now the brown like there you can see it and I didn't know if they were scratches or slop and then I think I decided in the review they were slop and then there's some over here too and random spots up here and here and there is some brown here on the neck and on the edge here but I went back and looked at some uh, product pictures and uh, it's not slop to me it looks like it is failed attempt at paint hit. I'll put a picture of the product right here on the screen. And it just looks like somehow the factory screwed up the brown paint hits on this guy. So I may try to, I did order these online. So I couldn't check for a, the best example and I wouldn't have known anyway in the package. But if I see him out in the wild, I'm going to check and see if the one I happen to come across has better paint and pick it up because that is kind of disappointing and the figure is cool don't get me wrong but because of the paint and I think he could have looked much cooler if they went with the design on the back of the box he's my number five checking in at number four I'm going with King Spider another really cool figure and I love like the off-white the dirtiness of him and the uh, green really contrasts really nicely just a really nice looking figure but I do have him at number four just because this is a really solid wave and the other figures I just think were better <laughs> for number three I'm cheating a bit here and I'm going with the salmon twitch two-pack and the reason I'm grouping them together is because they came together in a two-pack now these figures are great and as I had said in my review much needed characters for the spawn collection they are key players in spawn's world they look really awesome in my review i did note that sam felt hollow and at the time i think that disappointed me more than it does it's just i think it um took me by surprise a little bit but they look fantastic the only other thing i would say is i wish there was a way to articulate sam so he could hold um his gun in like a firing pose but that is just griping to the max of my part <laughs> i don't he doesn't need to do that and i think they're cool and as a set they're pretty awesome and also twitch both of them look awesome but for some reason uh, twitch stands out to me coming in at number two i have plague spawn which is was a really tough decision between him and number one I just love this figure. He has just such great personality and that head, uh, head sculpt. Just really cool. And just his design itself lends to a really cool looking figure. And I thought he was going to be my favorite of the year, or of the year, of the wave until I opened whoa, Omega Spawn. Oh. Lift a little bit. Now this guy is awesome on so many levels. The presentation, the sculpt, the details, 
I just can't say too much about this figure. He is definitely, probably so far, unless something comes out of left field, my favorite pickup of the year. He just commands so much presence, just like Plague. He has that awesome, menacing, smiling type face. And Plague Swallow's no spot, uh, slouch, but just the size of him and the detail. He just, he just blew me away. Very incredible figure. And if you only can get one or two figures, I would definitely go with Omega Spawn and then Plague Spawn. He is a mega fig, so he'll run you a little bit more, but well worth it in my opinion. So to wrap things up, what an incredible wave overall. Uh, 14 spiders back there, trying to get some uh, camera time. <laughs> but yeah, I can't say enough about this wave. All these figures are really good. Even Nightmare Spawn with the paint mishaps. He's still, like I said, I don't want anybody to think that he's a terrible figure. He did disappoint me because of the paint misses. And the aforementioned looking more like the artwork on the back of the box. I'm sure he looks like this as well. That's not why I took points. It was more the paint. And then that got me looking deeper and being like, oh, he should look more like the back of the box. But he's still a good figure. He just happens to be my number five. The whole wave is really incredible. And I cannot wait until Todd shows us something new for another wave because he is killing it with these Spawn Universe figures. And I think the whole line is incredible. And I always check <laughs> all the normal places to see if there's any new announcements. With that being said, drop me a comment and let me know how you would rank these figures. And that'll about do it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon right here on the flip side. Later.